Did you know that you have the power to control your focus? You do. I want to start by reading to you from Philippians 4.8. It says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything, anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. The truth is, is that it matters what we focus on. It matters because it determines the kind of lifestyle that we live. God's word says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That word heart in that particular verse can also mean mind. So another way to say it is as a man or woman thinketh in her mind, so is she. If we focus on what's wrong all the time instead of what's right, we are going to feel some pretty negative feelings such as, you know, sadness and loneliness and depression and maybe even hopelessness. And when we get to that hopeless state of mind, we start thinking all kinds of wrong thoughts. And some of us even think that it would be easier if we just ended it all. It's not always or ever fun to talk about, but we're losing a lot of people these days to suicide. And it's heartbreaking because as Jesus followers, we know that there is always hope. So if we're focusing on what's right, in what's working in our lives, we're going to feel more strengthened, more hopeful, and more determined to keep going even when things are tough. So I want to encourage you today to keep going. I know things are tough, but God is in control. Let's keep our focus on, focus on him. Amen. I hope that word encourages you today. And if it does, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a biblical word of encouragement.